The twin sister, who was just born prematurely, was diagnosed with congenital heart malformation but in the operating room. As soon as the doctor opened her chest, the next moment the power went out unexpectedly. According to hospital regulations, the surgery had to be stopped immediately. Otherwise, if something went wrong, everyone present would be held responsible. But if they closed her chest now, it would be like condemning the sister to death. Is there anyone here who is more concerned with their career than saving Mabel's life? Quick show of Everyone looked at each other, their expressions revealing determination. Not a single person left. Although the hospital's backup generator quickly started, due to years of neglect, the generator could only barely sustain for 40 minutes. They couldn't even finish a third of the surgery. Now they were truly racing against death. Every second felt especially precious. Meanwhile, the hospital outside was already in chaos. Once the hospital lost power completely and the ventilators were no longer functional, many critically ill patients would be in jeopardy. The immediate priority was to quickly transfer the critically ill patients to other hospitals. But this woman refused to leave, no matter what. She was the mother of the premature twins. Her newborn daughter was fighting for her life in the operating room. How could she leave so easily? The third brother objected, saying that a woman could use a portable oxygen tank, and insisted on giving the spot to the other side, where the patient who had been unconscious due to a car accident Bell will lose his mind. That barb coma has already built a quarter mil. But at a time like this, who could spare a thought for that? Seeing the determination of the third brother and his assurance to take responsibility, the nurse reluctantly left. As every second passed, the hospital's generator finally gave out, plunging the entire operating room into darkness. But then, down scenes of flashlights lit up, illuminating the path for the baby girl to survive. With the extra quabrio circulation machine unusable, a nurse manually supported the baby. With everyone's help, the baby girl eventually endured the surgery bravely. Meanwhile, the hospital finally restored power. Uh, these babies it was as if death was playing a cruel joke on everyone. At that moment, Little Black noticed his brother crying incessantly beside him. Their father explained that ever since their sister was taken into the operating room, their brother had been crying nonstop. Despite trying everything, they couldn't calm him down. It was then that Little Black had an idea. They don't know an existence without the touch of the other. Then, Little Black gently placed his sister beside his brother. Soon enough, a miracle occurred. The moment his brother's hand touched his sister, he finally stopped crying and soon drifted into a deep sleep. All the efforts of that night were worth it. But how could such a large hospital just shut down with a power outage?